Hello people, my name is Rage, and welcome one and all to my very first proper Binding of Isaac video. I am both incredibly excited, like this level of excited, <laughs> and also incredibly nervous, like this level of nervous. And they are causing many conflicting emotions to surge through me as they do glorious battle within my brain. The reason I'm excited is because I'm a huge convert to this game, and I really, really... Wow, that... Wow! That was... Okay! I feel like that's a good first room to walk into. Is that after finally getting convinced to play it, as you will know, I have recently done my first ever Isaac run as a stream highlight video and this run that you are watching right now is my fourth I think and the reason I am nervous wait did I actually say the reason I'm excited I can't actually remember but I think that's that's okay basically you guys were right game is awesome I have so much fun playing it the reason I am nervous however is that obviously due to my massive inexperience and lack of knowledge on the game, I suck really hard at it. Which means that all of you guys, who I'm sure are quite experienced, you know you're Isaac, you've watched a lot of it. I should not have got hit there, that was terrible. You know what's up, are probably going to be watching this thinking, Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you go there? Why didn't you get that item? What are you doing? That was the wrong move. And so on and so forth. But this is called Training for Rebirth for a reason. Because I've realised that Isaac is actually really good fun, I now obviously would really like to get Rebirth and thus make content on it. But in order to do that and not annoy the hell out of everyone, I want to get at least some way decent with Isaac before then. And that's what this series is going to be about. So with that in mind, please be patient with me. I don't know what all the items do. In fact, I only know what a very small amount do. I don't know the correct way to beat every enemy. I don't know the correct way to explore things. Generally speaking, I just generally... Generally, you know, generally, speaking generally here, I, I am speaking generally, don't know the right way to go about even playing the game. So bear with me, just have fun as I explore this, because I imagine it's quite rare someone experiencing Isaac for the very first time. So, ooh, golden poop? I've always wanted that. Seriously though, what does what does golden, golden poop do? I, also, I never thought I'd ever, ever say that sentence in my life. So you really do get fundamentally good new experiences in... Isaac, but yeah, golden poo, I that's alrighty, sweet, I feel like I'm doing quite well on this run, this double tier thing doesn't seem terrifically useful, wow, that's really, really good, because then I can buy things from the shop, and I actually have the money for them on the first floor, shouldn't have taken that damage there, that was a little a bit silly of me, wait, why am I even clearing, the oh yeah, I, w I am so... So terrible. The bean! Why am I clearing this room? Oh yeah, to get out of the room. Thought process of a king right there. Okay, so these enemies really, like, the first time I saw them, I may have jumped a little when they suddenly go sort of terrifying face, because they look so adorable when you first see them. And also, I look terrifying from the back now with that one extra eye I've got going on. That is quite horrific, actually. But either way... Cleared these guys out with only taking one little bit and another key. Not bad indeed. Let me know how this floor has gone. Also, let me know advice, guys. Tell me what things do. Tell me if I could have done something better, how I should have done something better. You know the drill. And I will warn you in advance, because I don't know what all the items do, I'm pretty much just going to be trying them like this. I don't know what that does, really but I'm assuming it's probably helpful. I'm also going to get this key, because I often find that I run out of keys, and it bugs me not being able to uh, get a chest or a door, because I simply don't have the key. So first boss time. What I would like to know, actually, from you guys... Ah, oh, Monstro! Okay, I've actually fought Monstro. I'm pretty much good in knowing how to deal with him and his jumpy shenanigans. Okay. But what I would like to know from you guys is, would you prefer for me to remain blind as long as possible, or would you prefer me to like sit studying the wiki and looking up what each item does so I can better do runs and know 
cool, like the more efficient ways of doing something. Basically, what I would like to know is would you like me to prepare myself out of game or would you like to just see me be as noob, working stuff out, enjoying my first experience for as long as possible? So let me know on that front. And then the follow-up question is... How often would you like to see Isaac runs? Because as I said, I'm really into it at the moment, so I could do them fairly often. And I don't want to play any runs not recording, so I've not been practicing, because I feel like that would ruin the sort of noob experience for you guys a little bit, because I'm sure it's quite fun of you for, to be sat there going, ha ha ha, he's totally... He's totally a new, I'm totally better than him. <laughs> he's so bad, I'm gonna sit there and judge him. <laughs> he's so great. Which, I don't blame you. I would totally do the same thing. So, he is going to die very, very shortly. If I can just put, like, a couple more tears in him. Oh, that was just incredible. Alright, sweet. Oh, is that a whip? Is that... Ah, short speed up. That's really nice. Okay, I do like that. Pretty happy with that. Whether it's good or not, I don't really know, but I am happy for it. I did get the Wrath of the Lambda, you'll see, which you're probably already aware of. In fact, I, would you be aware of it? I don't actually know. I've never seen coloured ones. Actually, no, I've seen green ones, but the blue one is new. Got cornered there by a rock, because I am good at this game. And another nickel. I think that's by far the most nickels I've had in one run ever. Though, that said, that doesn't mean much, given how I've done four of them. Grab that nickel, there we go. I don't like going in those spike rooms because they have always just hurt me for no real reason and I don't seem to gain anything from it. There's probably something I am, of course, missing with those rooms, but from my experience, they seem to be nothing but trouble. So I'm going to be avoiding them on this run for now unless you guys tell me that that's a massive mistake when it comes to reading the comments. Also, got to remember to destroy everything, look for tinted rocks, secrets and stuff. Gotta be on it like Donkey Kong it. Donkey, Donkey Kong it, Donkey, Donkey Thong it. No, do not imagine Donkey Kong in sexy underwear. That is not a good thought. Save yourself that pain. Do not imagine that. I No fan art, please. Zero. Okay, finish that off. because I don't know why, but it bugged me more that that wasn't destroyed over the fact that the enemy was still alive. Okay, so let's pop into the item room. Blue flies. So that makes a fly follow me and defend me, I think. Also, I've never seen a, a orange fire like that. I think it attacked me, which, you know, bad fire, how dare you? Moving on into, ah, oh, more of these guys, more of these guys. Oh, get away from me, get away. Oh, oh no, I got past them without taking damage. Nice, I'm pretty pleased with myself there. Come on, you disgusting corpse bleeding neck stomp thing. So that's the boss, so I'll go explore the final room. I have eight coins, which is probably not enough to make opening the shop worthwhile, I think. Probably need ten plus for that, so we'll see what I acquire in this room, whether I decide to go unlock that. I kept trying to kill my own blue fly for a while there, and then I realized that, hang on, I'm stupid. Okay, come on, come on, come, nope, I, yep, just, just, just a little, just a, just a second. My aim is so bad, like, so, so bad. Ah, oh, okay. Alright, use keyboard. Use keyboard. Power is keyboard. I am so sorry for offending you all with my lack of keyboard. I totally forgot that it is way more efficient. And I agree that it is. It does. It just feels so much nicer to use the keyboard. No tinted rocks in this room, but what I would like to do is go acquire this heart, because I did take a little bit of unnecessary damage, like the scrub that I am. So I imagine as I get better at the game, I'll get further and further into my runs, and thus the videos will be longer. And what I can tell is that you guys don't want things cut out of the runs. You want it to be 100% you seeing everything that's going on. And and I, I can get behind that. That does make sense, because obviously it's not nice when you're not understanding how something came to be. How do I solve this room? This seems very difficult. I am going to... Probably see if I can do something with bombs here. Okay, cool. That was freaking me out a little bit. I had no real idea how to do that without taking unnecessary amounts of damage. So what I am going to do, because I'm a little bit low, is head over to the coin shop and hope there is a heart there that I can buy. Which feels like a massive waste, I'll admit, but I'm also a little bit scared for my life. Ooh, a key and a pill. I... the compass! I feel like that's a useful item. I seem to remember something about the compass. That's gonna bug me, actually. 
So, I can only afford the pill, so I'm going to get it. And here we go. Full health! Oh, awesome. Okay, so that is certainly useful. In fact, directly what I was after. I, now, I realize the compass is probably awesome. I imagine it helps you navigate, etc, etc. So, I do feel bad that I wasn't able to get that, but obviously did not have the moolah! I also have no idea what this nun habit has done for me yet, but I'm sure I'll find out. Larry Jr. I have fought this guy once, I think. Yes, yes, I have. I had Brimstone, though, when I beat him, so this is going to be a lot more of an intense fight, I am going to assume. Whoa, calm down. I feel like I should spend some time clearing the obstacles in my way so I don't get hemmed in and then viciously mauled by a giant sort of snake ball blood thing. The creatures in this game are both fascinating and scary and disgusting and it just makes me so confused as to how I feel about it. It really, really does. Alright, took a little bit of unnecessary damage there, but that's okay. I'm still feeling fairly okay. I really do enjoy playing this game though, I have to say. I do, I do like it so much. I went Scottish a little bit. Okay, a few more hits on them. A few more hits. Come on. Come on. Come at me, Larry. Yeah, you have a monstrous tooth. Nice. And some lovely, lovely health and tears up. And two soul hearts. Okay, I am, I am pleased with that. I really, really am. Down we go deeper into the caves. Uh, poor Isaac, just crying there all the time, just being so upset with the world. How did he ever get to this point where he is a bleeding nun firing tears from his eyes? It makes you wonder what kind of life events led up to poor Isaac choosing this. But and probably there is a distinct answer to my question, actually. Now that I think about it, there's probably kind of a lot of lore in this game. Oh, it turns out there isn't, and I'm asking really pointless questions. And I am wasting all of my soul hearts on little slidey head things of hell. Okay, that was probably terrible. No secrety room type things that I can that I can identify. I'm not sure what all of them do specifically look like. Alright, well these things look pretty sort of terrifying. They look like they explode, but at the same time feel like maybe they don't. They move very rapidly and randomly almost. That's kind of irritating. Oh, and they become a smaller spider. When this blue fly seems to be doing practically nothing for me, which is very upsetting. Okay, one left. I can do this. Gotta get through this. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get, gotta make it through Isaac. The, the rooms. I'm not gonna go into his body. Don't be, don't be disgusting. Oh, good. Poison zombies. I love these guys and their big explosive poison balls. Are these the ones that you have to kill twice? Oh, then at least not the ones that you have to kill twice. So that's good. That makes me feel a lot better about actually everything, now that I think about it. I, I've said now that I think about it a lot now that I think about it. hey oh, Hey. <laughs> hey oh, No, but really, that, that joke was poisonous. Because <laughs> of the poison zombies. Isaac versus Sloth. Ooh, okay, mini boss. I love me some Seven Deadly Sins as a Full Metal Alchemist fan. It made me really happy when I found out that Seven Deadly Sins were bosses in this. I have fought Mr. Slothy, Slothy Boy before, so I'm not completely new to this fight. And I think those little worm things are just like, they're so adorable and cute, and then they charge at you and they become the most terrifying thing I've ever seen. Die, 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 die! Wow, I nearly pushed my luck there and took some damage, and I have acquired Bob's Rotten Head. That's like a big explosion poison bomb, if I recall correctly from last time I defeated him. So let's head up. I should probably use it. Oh, these guys. I hate these guys so much. I'm going to use that bomb against them. Do I actually have any of my own bombs? I did, but good job I didn't waste them, because I actually managed to get over that. One and a half hearts is kind of worrying me, but I do have an item room there, which makes me happy. Come on, something. And I actually haven't had any deals with a devil this run, which, oh my god, I have half a heart left. That's not good. What do these do? I've seen everything. X-ray vision. Okay. Wonder how that helps me out. That's interesting. I realize I've been so newbie with taking hits. Like, I should not be as low as I am. I really, really shouldn't. I actually am genuinely concerned for my safety when I go into this next room. Like, a lot. I feel like I should be playing... Oh, that did not hit me. Are you serious? 
Oh, poison zombies. I tried. I... I tried 50. It's like every Isaac video I see is like 40 minutes long and I'm there dead in 15 minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. But I want to keep them genuine and not just keep playing till I get a good one. I am bad at the game. I am new. I am learning. So please have patience. Let me know what you liked about this episode. Let me know how I can improve. Maybe commentary or just things that I did. Because I really want Isaac videos to do well. Because I'm loving the game and I feel like it's really up my street. Because it's got that sort of whoa element. But at the same time, it's also kind of skilled. And I love skilled games. So please let me know, guys. Please remember to like if you enjoyed this, if you're happy for Isaac content, and subscribe for more. I will see you all next time with hopefully a less fail run. Did I did I throw away a lucky run, by the way? Were my items lucky, etc, etc? Because I'd be very interested for that. But yes, my name's been Rage. A oh, good boy.